Okay, let's talk more now about this complaint with our legal analyst, Michael Cardoza. And Michael, there are still many questions that remain about the man's death, including the official results of the official autopsy. But does it appear from what we know right now that the family indeed has a case? Well, do they have a case? Certainly with everything that they are saying and everything we know. But we have to see what the family's autopsy says, who did the autopsy, and then we're going to have to wait for the county's autopsy to see what that op autopsy surgeon tells us, because pivotal to this is what was the cause of death in this case. Then we have to look to the PDRD, which is the police department recording devices, to see what they caught on camera. Then you have to factor into this case the training of police officer in dealing with the mentally ill. Usually police departments aren't trained very well in that regard. And that's yeah, the mic, complaint. One, two, three, four. Heather's mic, one, two, three, four. I'm sorry? Uh, hi, uh, Michael, it appears as though I might be having some trouble with my microphone. I'm hoping that you can still hear me, but what will yes. the family in this case need to prove here? Well, they're gonna have to prove the cause of death, especially in light of the George Floyd incident where that officer put a knee on the neck of Mr. Floyd, you would think officers around the country would learn, don't get your leg or knee anywhere near someone's neck. Now, if he died from asphyxiation, if both coroners say that, it doesn't bode well for the police department. The other issue here, Heather, is the police department stepping back and saying, you know, we're not going to let any, any information out right now. We want to do a complete and thorough investigation. That doesn't sit well with the public. It's like, wait, tell us what you know right now. Because when we hear from the police department, well, we're consulting with the district attorney's office. They're doing their investigation. Remember, they're law enforcement. You have to have somebody more independent do an investigation. But the heart of this case will be what was the cause of death. If it was asphyxiation, then why did the officer put his leg or knee on his neck, knowing what he must have known about George Floyd? And you have to look to the officer's training. Why would they do something like that? So does the family have a case? They might have a very good case in this particular situation. Yeah, so it, it sounds like, Michael, you're saying that really it is going to center around the results of the autopsy and also if there is a legal reason for the officer's conduct and how they responded to this man. Well, absolutely. You have to look to their training. How were they trained in dealing with the mentally ill? Was it necessary in this particular situation? You have the family telling the officers when they come to this situation, he's calmed down, he's all right now. That begs the question then, why did the officer or officers do what they did in that situation if you have a calm person? Now remember, officers are trained for more violent situations. They're not trained, as I say, very well in dealing with the mentally ill. And that's what you have in this case. And that's what this case will be all about. Number one, what was the cause of death? Number two, let's look at the PDRD. Let's see what they did and how the deceased was acting at that time. Right now, from looking at it, it, it bodes well. I'm not sure that's the right way to put this, but as far as the case goes, they're in a good position. I mean, he, he's asphyxiated and the officer has a knee in his neck. That doesn't look good. And then you have this delay by the officer. The public wants transparency. What are you hiding? Why don't you put it out there right now? Tell us what you have. Get an independent investigation going. When you investigate your own, the public looks at that and is suspect. I was always taught, not only do you have to do justice, but you have to give the appearance of doing justice. And this isn't the Good appearance. Point, yeah, th thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Obviously, it is a, a legal complaint that we'll continue to follow. Uh, Michael Cardoza, our legal analyst, thank you.